Hey guys, Todd with Vapor Honing Technologies. Today we are talking about doing soft metals in a dry blast machine, such as aluminum, copper, brass, any type of soft metals. There's a method to the madness here when you're blasting soft metals. The one thing you wanna do is you wanna start with a very low air pressure. And right now we're set at about 20 PSI, maybe 18. It'll go down just a little bit when we step on the pedal. But you always wanna start very low with your pressure. You can move up if you need to, but what you don't wanna do is embed the media into the part. We have a little coupon here of aluminum. We're actually gonna put this in. We're gonna blast it at our 20 PSI and then we'll steadily move up and kinda of see where that difference is on this part and where we know our cutoff is. So we ended up turning it up to about 25 PSI just so we could get the flow going uh, with the suction. But as you can see, it's done a really good job of actually cleaning. We do not have any materials embedded here, but what's gonna happen if we turn it up just a little bit and do this next section at a higher PSI? Let's find out. Okay, so we've turned our pressure up to about 50 PSI and we've still got a really smooth finish here. I really don't feel any media embedding into this, into this aluminum yet, but you can get it to a point where it will. And we're gonna do that next. We're gonna go back and hit this centerpiece right here and see if we can't show you how glass bead will actually embed itself into the soft material, soft metals like aluminum, brass, and copper. Okay, so this center section here, and I can actually feel little bits of glass beads still embedded into the surface. Now we turned the pressure way up, but this is what can happen doing soft metals, even using glass bead. We have the ability here to do product testing. So if you've got a part that you're not sure whether we can dry blast it or not, you can send us some samples in, we can experiment with it. We're always gonna start with our lower pressure like we did here before we ever move up into the process. And one of the things I've noticed with this is because of the inconsistency of the pattern, we've got what they call hot spotting. So this can happen, especially when blasting with dry blast, you have to keep a very consistent flow to your process as you're blasting. I'm gonna put this back in one more time. Uh, we're gonna reset the pressure probably down to about 60 PSI. We're gonna go over this entire piece again and see if we can't remove the hot spotting while we're in here. So a nice consistent finish. It's simply achieved by using the same pattern. Uh, you kind of want to do it like you're spray painting. So we painted over it one way, we painted back over this direction, and then I came back and crisscrossed at an angle. Removes that hot spotting that you see on there and gets you back to a finished piece that you can actually use. Closing here, I would just like to say again, we've got our uh, application testing. We can test these parts in our dry blast cabinets. An alternative to that is we still have our wet blast cabinets so we can actually try your parts in wet blasting. Um, so if you've got a part that you want us to test, please send it in, we'll be more than happy to do that for you. That phone number is 828-202-5563. Thanks for watching.